Welcome to today's Kartik Inspirations, where we will study another miracle, uh, which is, I personally find it very, very inspiring. Mm, once there was a devotee whose name was Duki Krishna Das, whose regular service was to sweep the Seva Kunj. So that one morning, uh, something amazing happened. I will read this to you because it's forever engraved in the history of the Gaudiya. So, one night Lord Krishna and the gopis were absorbed in singing and dancing on a moonlit night in beautiful Seva Kunj. At one point, as the pace of the dancing increased, a golden ankle bracelet named Manju Gosha, which was studded with beautiful sapphires, slipped off the left foot of Shimati Radharani and fell on the dancing arena, unnoticed by anyone. Early the next morning, Krishna and the gopis and everyone left for their homes. And when Duki Krishna Das arrived for his service and reached the kunj, he noticed there were jasmine creepers and other flowers lying scattered everywhere and the parrots and cuckoos and black bees were singing morning songs with more enthusiasm than usual. Mm. So uh, as he was cleaning, he all of a sudden saw a glittering object under a pomegranate tree which was lighting up the grove with its radiance. Uh, when he came closer to his surprise, he saw there was this ankle uh, started with sapphires uh, emanating an otherworldly uh, shine and also fragrance. It was sticking out of the ground so very carefully. Mm, uh, he uh, unearthed it. Now, uh, uh, <laughs> Radha told Lalita that morning, oh, I'm, I'm missing my uh, ankle, anklet. Do you know where it is? And Lalita said, no, but I will go and search for it in the place where we dance, the Rasa dance with Krishna. And so when Lalita came, she had the disguise of an ordinary village girl. And she approached Duki Krishna and introduced herself as a Radha Dasi. And have you, have you found, by the way, a golden ankle bell? Duki Krishna said, who are you? Who is asking? And... Uh, he wouldn't give the anchor bell until Lalita finally revealed her divine form. She said, you are very fortunate. Uh, you, I will take you to Shimati Radharani and give you, uh, and she will give you uh, some special, special mercy. So yes, Syamananda crossed over the bridge and uh, came before Radha, and Radha did two things. He said, she said, uh, my dear uh, uh, Syaman, uh, 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 my dear Duki Krishna, from today your name will be changed. No more Duki, Duki means suffering. Um, uh, you will be Syamananda, the one who gives pleasure for uh, my Siam, and I will give you uh, um, uh, uh, also a special tilak. And she uh, pressed the ankle, anklet on Siamananda's forehead and impressed a tilak on there. And then he s she said, and before you leave, mm, I will give you a very special deity uh, called 
Syam Mohan. This is what happened. Syamananda took a deity of Krishna from the divine spiritual world back into this world and started to worship it. This deity can still be seen today in the Syam Sundar temple of uh, one street of Loi Bazaar and uh, Shimati Radharani uh, gave one blessing. Uh, she said, whoever has darshan of this deity, even once with devotion, shall obtain prema bhakti and go to the rarely attained divine abode of Sri Krishna and he will never or she will never be born again. Misfortunes, poverty and all kinds of inauspiciousness shall not enter the home of such a person. Yes, uh, in Vrindavan we can expect such Krishna or Radha miracles. You know, we can expect also the personalities, divine personalities, coming and taking us by the hand, so to say, and introducing us into a more enlivened form of spiritual practice. Wishing you all the best and see you for next Kartik Inspirations. Hare. Yeah.